Hello, hello, welcome to the show. So today's subject, we're talking about makeup. Not makeup that you put on your face. Nah, we're talking about makeup, like making up. Like if you and your significant other was in an argument, I'm showing you a perfect way to make up with class, with style. Not just a typical, oh, I'm sorry, or it'll never happen again. That stuff, it really don't work these days. You can apologize all you want but you gotta have some type of style with it to make that person forgive you. I'm doing it in the example of the man being uh, the one that did something wrong. Maybe it's an argument we did and we started and it's our fault, but uh, we don't wanna admit to it. You know how that goes sometimes. Sometimes you're just gonna have to admit. But this can work even if the, you know you're right and they're wrong, but you just want to make up because you don't wanna go to bed uh, angry with someone. I get it. That That is uh, uh, perfect because uh, you never want to go to bed uh, angry with someone because uh, you never know if they're going to wake up tomorrow. So that's so true. Uh, so here's a way to make up with class. I guarantee you she's going to accept your apology this way. Hands down. It, it's going to work. It'll work on any woman on this earth. First thing first, I mean, we all know we mess up sometimes, but uh, let's try not to do too much messing up. I'm not here to judge, but I'm saying don't mess up to the extent because some of this stuff on this show probably won't work if she's super, super mad. So come on, work with me. So let's say the argument is done. She said what she had to say. You said what you had to say. It's over with. She's in the room. You still watching TV in the living room. This is when you get up and go to the room. Door ain't gonna be locked. She ain't gonna lock the door. When you mad, you don't think of stuff like that. She's gonna be laying on the bed, her side of the bed, leaving all that space for you to come in and do your thing. So without further ado, I'm gonna walk you through it. Here we go. Okay, so we're about to do this. Um, I need to get into something a little bit more comfortable because um, it's about to go down in here. Look at it. She sleep now, acting like she run the world. We gonna let her sleep, but we got to apologize because we don't know what's gonna happen, and we don't wanna sleep on that cold side over there either. So we are about to get her juices flowing, okay? Baby, I'm sorry. You know you're the best thing that happened to me. I don't even know what got into me. Hey, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Baby. baby, I'm just gonna hold you all night. I don't even deserve to touch you, baby. I just wanna hold you all night. Can I hold you? Can I can I come a little bit closer, babe? Don't don't answer that, babe. I'ma take it upon myself and just move in. Damn you soft. Smell good too. Damn, baby, your hair smells so good. Is that that new shampoo in the bathroom? The one in the blue bottle? Don't answer that. Damn, baby, your wig got in my mouth a bit, but it's okay. Because I, I deserve that. I'm supposed to be holding you all night. Ooh, it's cold in here. You take all the cover tonight, baby, because I deserve to freeze. But I'm not freezing yet, because I'm going to hold you. Hold you tight. All night.
Sometimes in these situations, creativity is everything. Just relax. If in every argument in your relationship seems like it's time to break up, then yeah, you might need to move on. Other than that, it's simple. A relationship is about a whole lot of small things. Apologize. Apologies are always accepted. Well, I gotta go. But until next time, good night everyone.